everybody, it's Judy here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be doing some things to my zebra plant. <laughs> Could have been a better intro, but it is what it is. Anyway, I have this zebra plant, Aphalandra squarosa. I have spoken about this plant before on my YouTube channel, uh, specifically in my video, plant plant regrets. Oh, there's plant plants that I regret buying. Anyway, this was one of those plants. So if you didn't watch that video, just a quick recap: this plant has given me a lot of grief. I couldn't quite figure out what it wanted. Overwatering, underwatering, higher, lower levels of humidity, light, not enough light. It was, I covered it all. This is one of the plants that I purchased, first purchased when I first started in my plant collection journey. And I made a lot of mistakes with it early on. I discovered that this plant does like high, higher humidity, bright indirect light. It likes its soil to stay quite moist, so it needs consistent watering. And because it is a really fast grower, it needs regular feeding. So those are the things that I discovered about this plant. Now, because I made so many mistakes with it early on, I feel like I completely not completely, but I feel like I really hindered its growth into continuing on into be a healthy plant. So because I figured out a little bit later on that its needs were these things that I just mentioned, started doing a whole lot better since I made that last video about it. It started doing a whole lot better up the top here. So it since started sprouting all this beautiful brand new growth at the top and it's picked up. It's doing a lot better. But the thing that I don't like about it is that it's dropped all its leaves at the base here. Oh, and I've just broken another leaf, but that's okay. It was a, it was a damaged leaf, so that's all right. Um, the, the base here is very, very empty. It's just three empty stems, and I really just don't like the way that it looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this plant. It sounds really aggressive, a very aggressive measure, but the thing is, I feel like I've there's no love lost with this plant, and I have wanted to try and propagate this for a while. So I know that you can propagate this plant from these nodes. I did a bit of research. From these nodes, if you stick this in water, they're gonna grow some roots. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. Because the stems are so long, I just don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to cut it back from this node, from wherever it roots out. I'm gonna then pop that, these stems that root out into some soil, and then I'll have the plant back down a little bit more compact down to the soil, rather than having these spindly stems here. So before I change my mind about it, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So here we go, Aphalandra squarosa. It's just one of those plants that I have heard a lot of people have had a lot of problems with. So what I'm gonna do now is there's three stems here and I'm gonna cut them all back. So let's see, I want a bit of, still a bit of stem on it. So what I'm gonna do is just cut it back over here. I'm gonna make sure that I cut above a node, just above a node, so that the node below it will actually activate, and in theory it should activate, and start to sprout something from that node. So there we go, I've cut it. There is that stem. I'm gonna pop it in this in this jug of water here. So it's kind of like a decoration too. Instead of flowers, it's it's a zebra plant. <laughs> so let's cut this back as well. Make sure that I'm cutting above a node on the stem here. Just cut. There we go. And pop that also in the vase. And this is the third one here, the third and the longest stem. Very, very long and spindly. I'm just gonna cut that back around about the same height. There we go. And pop that in the vase too. It's quite pretty in the vase, I should say. Look at that. It's quite pretty in the vase. I quite like the look of that. I'm going to remove the leaves that have a bit of damage on them. From This is from lack of humidity. Um, so I'm just gonna remove that leaf just because I can. And yeah, that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? I'll update you guys on how these gr are growing. I have a feeling that since it's quite a fast grower up the top, then maybe it'll be a fast rooter as well. I don't know. But we'll see how we go with that. Now, what I'm going to do with this is a good question. <laughs> now, the soil is quite moist, so I've been doing a lot better with the watering. 
so that's good and once these root out I might even grow them back into this pot itself depending on how this goes so I'm gonna keep this alive hopefully I think that by cutting these the nodes below where I cut will activate and start to shoot off new growth but there are still nodes below that and what I want to try and do with this like a little bit of this stem here is actually propagate those nodes try them try to grow them from wet sticks maybe because this is still too much of a stem i feel like i don't want that much of a stem in it sorry my friend is running my friend my neighbor is running power tools if you can hear that sorry i gotta get on with my life <laughs> so yeah these these stems are quite long and spindly still so i'm gonna cut this back even more and i don't know if like this node is gonna activate up here but you know what I'm gonna stick that in the soil anyway and see if that does something uh, let's see if this actually I'm gonna leave this one but this one I will cut this one here so I'm gonna cut that just above a node here we go I'm gonna stick that in some soil see if that does anything where's the other one I lost the other oh there it is I lost the other one stick those two in there see if those actually start to grow anything so in theory this should work and I will update you guys in a future video how this goes but I, I don't know maybe on Instagram stories I'll show little updates if it starts to show any new growth around the stems here but yeah that is how you can propagate Aphalandra squarosa zebra plant don't forget that these plants because they are fast growers they need to eat regularly so it's important to give them some food these leaves are coming out a bit gnarled and a bit like deformed because I feel like I did, wasn't giving it enough nutrients enough to keep up with the growth that it wants to push out because it's a naturally fast grower another thing to note about this plant is that it is quite attracted or I should say aphids are quite attracted to this plant Plant. it's an aphid attractor so out of nowhere this plant got aphids I don't even know where they came from or like my, none of my other plants got aphids so I was regularly spraying this down with neem oil and pyrethrin spray I've since been able to get rid of the aphids off it but I just keep an eye on it just to stay on top of it and make sure that those aphids don't come back because they are quite sticky pests and they're kind of hard to get rid of once they've taken a foothold in your plant so yeah, just regularly wash your plants down in the shower when you water your plants, put them in the shower, shower them down, it knocks off any of those pests and then give them a really good spray down with eco oil, pest oil, neem oil, they're all one and the same. Um, and it's just part of the management program that I use for my plants. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions about the Aphalandra scorosa, um, ask them in the comments below. I'll try and get back to you guys. I feel like I've finally learned how to take care of this one and um, I feel confident in cutting it back because I wasn't really liking the way it looks and, and just by letting it sit there, it wasn't really bringing me joy. So I thought I had nothing to lose. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If anything, it gave me a beautiful vase with some beautiful foliage right here um, and if it does work then that's awesome then I will have more plant <laughs> so yeah thanks guys for watching this video I hope you found it helpful and informative uh, any other questions you have ask them in the comments and I will try and get back to you guys let me know also in the comments what other kind of videos you would like to see I will I'm trying to film all the plant tours that I've been doing just to show you guys the practical practicality of plant ownership and plant parenting plant care and also putting into practice the things that I try and teach you guys in my videos as well so you know there's that so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching uh, please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all in my next video bye um, so the general care don't don't forget these these plants are actually also I'm so distracted by that power tool outside right now um, sorry I've been my neighbors out there. <laughs>